Just when it seems the city of Calgary is getting a handle on the floods, it has a new emergency on its hands. A train carrying hazardous chemicals derailed on a bridge over the Bull River, and part of the bridge buckled early this morning. Tonight, five train cars filled with a flammable chemical are still perched above the river. Francis Silvaggio is following the story for us. Francis? Well, Eric, given the materials involved, uh, officials say the situation is still volatile. We're being kept uh, very far from the actual site of the derailment. And, of course, this comes at a really bad time for the city of Calgary in particular. There had been so much progress being made. People were getting back into their homes and businesses were starting to begin the recovery process. But for a big chunk of the city today, all of that game came to an abrupt halt. The call came in shortly before four. Six CP rail cars, five fully loaded, derailed. The bridge about to collapse into the Bow River. My briefing notes were supposed to start with, we'll keep it simple today. Well, we probably got a little more we need to talk about. A lot more, actually. The derailment forced the closure of one of Calgary's major roadways, creating traffic gridlock. The already flood-weary water treatment facility was evacuated, and the news only got worse. Four cars contain petroleum products, and the fifth car contains uh, ethylene glycol. A plan was developed to tether the six rail cars together to prevent them from slipping further. A pumping crew would then set up on an adjacent bridge and suck out the hazardous materials before attempting to pull the disabled rigs to safety. Obviously something happened here that will have to be investigated later, but uh, right now the, uh, the focus is on safety uh, and getting the safety of people, the safety of the infrastructure, and of course getting the roads open again. City engineers are not allowed to inspect rail bridges. Under federal rules, all inspections, including following a major disaster, are the responsibility of the rail line itself. The bridge has been inspected 18 times since the flooding began in Calgary, and the track and infrastructure on the bridge deck are inspected numerous times per day by, uh, by various uh, uh, engineering personnel. We have a strong regime. It's not perfect, but we are going to do everything we can to prevent incidences like these and to recover from this one. A very blunt and frustrated Calgary mayor says it took six hours to get information from CP Rail about the contents of the cars. He says his focus is to first resolve this incident, but questions will definitely follow. I have a lot of questions uh, and not very many answers, frankly. We got to do all of that stuff and that's our only focus right now. I'll have the luxury to get emotional when everyone is safe. Now, we're told progress is being made. The rail cars have been secured. The bridge is now considered to be stable, and two of the key roadways have been reopened in time for rush hour. Now, there are some questions, of course. If this bridge, which CP Rail says it has inspected, managed to collapse, what is the situation with Calgary bridges? Uh, uh, the mayor, though, is very adamant that the city's inspection process is very strict. All city bridges have inspected at least three times since the flood, and he insists that Calgary bridges are safe. Eric? Thanks, Francis. Francis Silvaggio in Calgary.